Hey, what's up, ninjas? So I'm going to do a side by side comparison of right cream and word hero. These are two similarly priced lifetime deals on AppSumo uh, for AI copywriting. Uh, just know that I have tested a lot of AI copywriters and these would rank probably um, mid mid end. So not quite the high end like Jasper's or the copy AIs and also not quite the mid to high end ones like Juice AI or the other one is Go Charlie. So these ones fall a little bit below that, in my opinion, in terms of the copy, but they are substantially cheaper. So it's going to be up to you. If you're just learning about AI copywriting tools, I highly recommend you watch this video and you choose one of these just as a start. It will give you a very good idea of how um, AI uses or it can be used to generate copy in many different forms. So these two platforms are quite similar. I would say that they are competing. So let's test it out. So you can see I'm in the long form editor for both of them. And right now I've selected blog intros here for both of them. And on right cream on the left here, you can see they take a brand name or and then the blog topic. And here on Word Hero, they don't take the brand name. So that's interesting. So less fields here on Word Hero, which probably means a little bit less specific. Um, although I'm sure you could just add your brand name in here. In fact, we will try that. So here I'm just going to copy a very strange topic, which is uh, how long does it take to knit a scarf? Now, from my experience in these copywriting tools, it's quite easy to generate copy like for social media or marketing or for things that are a little bit more specific, uh, which have like long lists on Google, but things that are a little bit more niche, like for example, how long does it take to knit a scarf? Some of the, this is a really good way to test whether a copywriter is good or not, because copy AI and Jasper will write a really good article. Same with um, GoCharlie and juice.ai. So, these ones, we will put it to the test. Again, uh, the brand product, we can use one of my companies, let's say Scarflings. And here, maybe we'll just type in Scarflings, comma. I don't know how that's going to work since it doesn't take it in as an input. Let's actually capitalize Scarflings, see if that makes a difference. And for the tone, we're just going to leave it. So this one's selected casual, and this one has no nothing in there, but it's optional. So let's start both of them at the similar times and see which one's faster. So go and go. Okay, that was almost instant for right cream, you can see. And Word Hero is taking a little bit longer. So I did a full Word Hero um, video review. I actually really liked it until I found the other tools. So you can see that it was about a couple seconds longer. Not a huge deal until you're starting to do this unmass and generating a lot of the articles. So um, let's just, this one generated, uh, I believe, just one intro. Or maybe it generated, yeah, generated four and it automatically copied it here. Here you have the option of copying one by one, which I like, or copying them all. So I actually prefer this rather than going in and deleting some of the stuff. So let's just take this out or check this out. Um, so again, the topic was how long does it take to knit a scarf? It's very specific. So we're expecting an answer as to how long it actually takes. So here on the left, it says the, the steps to knitting a scarf. The time it takes to knit a scarf varies depending on the number of stitches and yarn used. Okay, that's clear. Uh, best practices to reduce time. Okay, blah, blah, blah. You might f find it hard to believe that knitting has been around for thousands of years. Okay, nobody really asked that. Nobody really cares. But again, for a blog ar article, I'm sure you would include stuff like that. It's just side notes because, again, you can't talk about how long it takes to knit a scarf for your entire blog. Uh, number four point says knitting is a hobby that can be enjoyed. There's no blah, blah, blah. The only issue is it takes quite a long while to make one. Okay, so all of this one's pretty good. Uh, they're all pretty good, actually, um, except for number one. That's way too short, and I don't know why I generated that. Okay, let's take a look at Word Hero. Uh, it takes about two hours to knit the scarf. Okay, that's like right to the point. Uh, that basically answers it. The average person can knit a scarf in about four hours. Again, knitting a scarf is common in winter for many people. It can be a relaxing and enjoyable experience. The answer to this question depends on a number of factors, including assuming, okay, I, I actually like all of these. Yeah, I would say in general, and again, I have a copywriting background. I would say you can just see Grammarly 
does need a little bit of correction for some of them. I would say Word Hero wins out on this one, um, just because the first one had nothing to do with it, really. Um, so Word Hero plus one for the blog intro. OK, so let's keep one of them from each side and continue on. So let's go, we'll just keep the first one just for simplicity's sake. And then here, we'll keep the last one. OK, let's try to correct that. Sorry about that. OK, so there we go. Now that we have the blog intro, let's go back. And we will actually copy the title here. You can see it actually never took anything to do with Scarflings here, which is interesting. Neither on the right-hand side did it have anything to do with Scarflings. Uh, so let's just copy that. And you can see also um, there's a place for the title here on Word Hero, and there's not a place on this. So Word Hero is, again, winning out right now. I'm going to go ahead and close that. And we're going to choose the next one, so blog outline. And here there is also a blog outline. And it's already filled in everything. And we will just go again, write for me and write for me. Let's see which one's faster. OK, so instantly it was super fast again on Write Cream. And for Word Hero, it was shortly after. OK, so let's take a look at this um, output. So do you see how Write, write Cream automatically wins? Because look how many uh, different blog outlines they created. Fourth output. I don't like that it copies it all here immediately. I prefer this version, but take a look at this outline. Uh, it's not really the same. It's much easier to read on this. So for blog outlines, I would say write cream wins. Um, wow, look at this. How long does it take <laughs> to knit a scarf in a minute, a second? Wait, that doesn't even make sense. So that's strange. How long does it take to knit a scarf in your sleep? What is happening? That is completely off. OK, so the output's not very good, even though the format is better. So for that reason, it's a complete waste. Um, but word here, if you're listening to this, take note of that that output. It, it's it's a better format, but the, the quality is not nearly as good. Um, This one has nothing to do with, OK, this is the only part that actually answers it. The rest are just kind of filler. So we'll just add that all in anyways, just because that's what it generated. And uh, let me, we'll just capitalize that. And we'll do that because it's clearly a brand. It didn't know that. So Word Hero does not incorporate brands. And actually, most AI copywriters will include a brand or a product name. So I'm surprised Word Hero does not. In this case, Word Hero has the better blog uh, outline. You can just tell by this. It's a little bit more. Uh... Actually, this one's not bad. It, but the other ones didn't generate anything good. OK, so that, that I would say is a tie. But the formatting of the, the right cream is a little bit better. OK, let's go to the next one. So blog outlines, which we just did. Let's do a blog paragraph. OK, so the only similar thing to here would be, so you, we can do blog paragraphs here. And on the left for right cream, we can do blog heading expand, which I'm assuming that's what it would be. So. Let's call it that. And in this case, we'll do the blog paragraph and the blog topic and the blog headline. OK, this is interesting. So on Write Cream, it will automatically take the title here and generate more copy based on this function right here, which is blog paragraph. So it's similar to this. So here, I can easily just go write a blog paragraph. And then here, I don't know if I can do that. Let's see. Um, Expand, I guess. Let's see if it's the same thing. OK, that's not it. Um, I guess I have to manually copy this into the section headline and then go right for me. Wow. Did it just do all of them? That was strange. Let's delete that and do that again. So I typed in one here, the headline. 
and oh, did it just generate a, a shitload of Yeah, I honestly prefer the way that uh, Word Hero works in this case. Again, you can just select this and then create the paragraph. So for that reason, it wins. And you would just turn this into a heading too. And this one also into a heading too. OK, so so far, I would say Word Hero is creating better a better blog overall. This one's a little bit confusing with the process. Um, let's see what else would be good. Actually, let's, let's go ahead and uh, close this. And I will actually show you what, what Right Cream is known for. Most people are noticing that it doesn't create good copy. Um, that's just my honest opinion. Uh, but what most people are using it for that other AI copywriters do not have, at least ones that are, are generalized like this, is email personalization. Now, I did try this so that you guys wouldn't have to. Um, so basically, I clicked on this. And you can either input manually one website or you can upload a list. Obviously, most people are going to upload a list. So let me just pull that up. OK, so I've uploaded a list. This has uh, dentists that I scraped in Canada. So here, basically, it's going to pull the website URL once you import it. And it's going to write a compliment or a one-liner based on the website URL. So again, these are dentists in Canada. Let's just uh, read them. So I've already read them. If you, if you want to just long story short, um, it's not the best. In fact, when you do add a lot of these quote unquote personalized one liners, which are supposed to help with email uh, open rate and reply rate, in my experience and in many experienced cold email copywriters, uh, they notice that it actually turns people off because it's obvious that it was generated nowadays by a blog. And again, you're just adding filler content rather than getting straight to the point. Uh, people don't have that much time to read. Um, and that's just the honest fact. Most people fail because their emails are too long. One or one or two sentences max, uh, just to get a response is probably the best way for cold emails. So let's just read a, a couple of these. Um, let's see. So happy to see that you are okay. I'm very impressed with how you're providing dental services for children and families. I've learned that's important to provide a variety of dental services to your patients, and I love that you're doing that. Okay, so that one's not that bad. Again, a compliment sometimes works. Um, I love that, but what I'm, you're going to notice a lot of these are a little bit generic, especially when they can't find it, I guess, too much information on the website. I don't know how it works. I'm assuming that they scan as much of the website as possible, or they just try to look for the about page. Um, probably makes more sense. If they just look for the about page. Okay. There we go. I was missing some of it. Okay, so here I admire how you offer a wide range of dental supplies and tools for dentists. I'm so happy to see that you're a trust supplier. Um, let's see. I love that you offer a wide range of services and you're proud to be serving the Niagara Falls community and is inspired to see a business like yours that has been around for so long and still going strong. Okay, so in my opinion, it's going to depend on which niche that you're emailing. Some niches get spammed with emails and again every second it's kind of like TikTok. people have TikTok attention spans even dent even like uh, admin people that are answering this or even doctors or lawyers or whoever you're working with um which is why this website is actually really cool i just found out about this website this is just a side note this is called the read time so if you're sending cold emails uh just paste it into here and uh, it's going to tell you how long it takes to read typically you want it under 10 seconds what you'll notice is most people's cold emails go about like a minute which is really bad so check this out this is called the read time and again try to keep it under 10 seconds you, you have to know that again people have TikTok attention spans which is definitely less than 10 seconds okay so a lot of this is just, even though you might be like yeah this is going to work really well seldom does it unless they're at this the the place is really slow and they don't get many emails. And then sometimes a compliment like this might brighten their day and help them uh, answer it. So it's not bad. Again, you would just use a scraping tool, find all the websites that you you need, something like maybe Lead Rocks, which I'm going to be doing a video on, um, which is currently on AppSumo as well. And then plug in the URLs in here, get this to generate, and then move this over to something like Sales Handy or Instantly or whatever you're using, GMAS, to send out the, the emails and see, see, see what it does for you. Um, what I'm going to do in a future video, so make sure you like and subscribe, is I'm going to test sending it with direct to the point, very, very short, and then sending it with... Um, 
the personalized one one messages here okay so some of these also you see it, it adds something weird so you're going to definitely want to check this otherwise it'll look really spammy but if you don't have time again when you're generating like hundreds it's probably not it, you might get some replies that are like hey f off but that's okay um okay so something like like what you'll notice is a lot of them are quite generic like this. I guess if they can't find anything on the website itself, I'm really impressed with what Dawson Dental has to offer. I appreciate the variety of services they offer and how they're able to provide them all under one roof. It's kind of like the person reading that's going to know that it's kind of bullshit. Um, yeah, again, quite generic like this as well. So, but again, we're going to see. So make sure you like and subscribe. Hopefully you guys like this video again. What I would rate word or yeah, right cream, kind of strange name. Um, out of 10, in terms of all AI copywriters, it's probably like a six, six, yeah, probably a six. I would be generous giving it a six. And then Word Hero probably gets a 6.7 to seven in terms of AI copywriters. So stay tuned. Again, there's going to be some amazing ones. I'm going to review juice.ai as well as GoCharlie. Those will be the next ones up. Okay, thanks guys.